Last week's Gospel had Peter declaring that Jesus is the Messiah and good on him for recognising that. And yet today in the Gospel reading, uh, Peter's response to Jesus remarks about suffering and dying brings out a very different response. No way, he cries, not you, Jesus. It's not going to happen that way. And Jesus replies to him, you are a stumbling block. Quite a hard thing for somebody to say, especially to a friend, a follower, a disciple. But the point is Jesus needs to stay focused. He's preparing to go up to Jerusalem to be arrested and to pay the full price for the salvation of the world by hanging on a cross. This is not easy stuff, but you don't need me to tell you that. So the last thing Jesus wanted was a well-meaning disciple saying, well, it's not going to happen to you. No, this can't be right. It doesn't take much, even for Jesus, uh, to be distracted. And so he's saying to Peter, please, let's not talk like this. You are thinking about human things. I'm thinking about heavenly things. What are you thinking about? Well, there are many things to distract us all at the moment. Some of them are of our making and many of them may not be. We live in a complicated time and some of the routines and structures are just not there anymore. For some people that's been, uh, in some ways, a blessing. They've slowed down, they've reassessed their values. But it's very easy for us to be distracted as soon as rules are starting to be relaxed, people are already doing different things, perhaps getting back in the old routine. And that really isn't the best way forward, it seems to me, particularly for those of us who are Christian. So what are you thinking about? Well, it may be that you've got a difficult thing to deal with. It may be that you've got some good news happening in your life or that of your family. You may be just pleased that uh, every morning when you get up, that the aches and pains are not too great. Or perhaps you've not been in the mood to get up. I wonder what you're thinking about. There is much to distract us from the way of God's will and purpose. And the irony is God wants us to lead a full and wholesome life, a life to the full, bringing over. And yet we make decisions so often that kind of cut short or cut back the very life that we're hoping to live on a purpose and meaning, enjoyment, pleasure. But for some, of course, it'll be about the self rather than the other. What I need, what's good for me. What are you thinking about? Now, Jesus said, if you want to be a follower, then you take up your cross and you follow me. Your cross. Not his cross and not my cross, your cross. To take it up means being less bothered about ourselves, losing our life, when often much of that life can be shallow and selfish. We need help in order to find that life which God has planned for us. We need to clear away those stumbling blocks. And sometimes it will be one of our family or a member of our church who will help us with that. Perhaps one of the lay ministers or clergy um, that live down your road or, as you know, are available through your local church. Clearing away stumbling blocks can be just too hard for us as individuals, but by God's grace and the power of his Holy Spirit, uh, we can do amazing things when it comes to clearing stuff away. If you want to find out what life God has planned for you, then you really ought to start asking for help. And one thing I've learned over the years is that's a good place to start. So whatever you're thinking about, perhaps you start, should start thinking about asking God for help in a way that will enable you to lead your life to the fullness that God has planned for you. Hope you have a good week.